Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure die peers in our router. Then, we can add route patterns in our CUCM. In this scenario, we have an E1 connection between our router and public switched telephone network. And for this connection, you need T1E1 interface module on your router. Then, you should configure it. For display the physical inventory information for the router hardware, you should type show inventory. As you can see, on a slot 0, sub slot 3, and there is only one port on this card. The port number is 0. So my E1 controller is 030. This is a sample of E1 configuration. If you need, you can use of this. You should type this command as an E1, not T1. Slot and subslot. Then you should type controller E1 and PRI group time slots and then no shots. This is for CCS, not CAS. Then interface serial and warp port. After configure E1, we should configure our die peers. For connection between router and PSTN, we need POTS die peers and VoIP die peer for connection between router and CUCM server. These translation rules represent to start with any dial digits. Star means no matter how many characters they are. It means 10 digits, 8 digits, 12 digits, it doesn't matter. And after that, should be translate to set 1. Set 1, set only three last digits. Now we need to configure die pairs.
Okay, my router doesn't have seek info, so I erase it. As you can see, after translation rule, I create translation profile. One is our translation rule number. Then I wrote dial pairs. This is plots dial pair. And for incoming call number, it means match any digits come from PSDN and then type this command. If you don't write this command, when someone calls, he will hear a secondary dial tone and uh, maybe he hang up the phone. So write this command. Second dial pair, it's for outside destination. Any digit you call goes on. 030 we already configured in my router that is invalid input detected because I don't have this port actually but I wanted to show you and you can use this the third dial pair is for three last digits should send to CUCM server and translation profile outgoing to CUCM is this translation rule that I already created. Now we have to go on CUCM server and add patterns, route patterns. So we need to go on call routing, route hunt, and route pattern. There is no route pattern. Add new. You can add route pattern here, any route pattern you need, and then you can specify your gateway. But there is another way call routing, route hunt, route group, add new. For route group name, we can type RG1. Now we have only one device. Add to route group and save. If I had more devices, I could add to route group based on our priority. Now going to route list. Add new. The name is route list one. And Unified Communication Manager Group default. For select a group, add route group. Our route group is route G1, RG1. Save. Okay. So we have to go on route, route pattern. Add new. Then type our route pattern. Okay, this pattern is for eight digits local numbers. 
and uh, this one R L1. This nine is for outside dial and uh, here pre dot and save. Okay. And this is our brow pattern. The last thing that I'd like to show you that I forgot, it's about translation rule on your router. This is a rule that we typed before. Now we can test it. For test, we should type test voice translation rule and translation rule number and then R number. Test voice translation rule one this is rule 1, but our translation rule also was 1. And this is our number. Okay, you can see better, I think. Any number should be translated to set 1. And set 1 is only last 3 digits. And you can see 3, 2, 1. I hope this video was useful for you and good luck.